The Bright Sparks interview was not going well. It had been doomed from the start. Ever since she had run over the recruitment specialist's foot with her wheelie chair and knocked a pile of folders onto the floor, Marta had known there was little point in sticking around. So tell me about your last placement, if you call it that. You seem to have worked there for, what, four weeks? This wasn't a career job, Marta explained. It was just a little job to get me money for paying rent in London. Okay, said the woman slowly. Her red hair was scraped back over her head, pulling the flesh so tight that it was impossible to guess her age. And you plan to go into marketing with no UK experience other than this little job? Marta nodded. I have the experience, but in Poland. have done good work in... I'm sure you have, I'm sure you have, the woman nodded. But you do understand that our clients expect a very high calibre individual from this agency, and so it's our duty to ensure that every one of our sparks, that's what we call them, have the skills, qualifications and relevant experience to equip them for a very challenging workload. Marta nodded sullenly. She just wanted to leave now. There was no way they were going to hire her as one of their sparks, so there was really no point wasting any more time. To be honest, she felt a bit cross with Holly for suggesting she apply. Clearly she wasn't good enough for them. She was too much of an unknown. Now, you graduated from the Skoła Główna Handlowa, Warszawie. Yes, uh, there. Could you tell me a little bit about your course, about the university? Marta opened her mouth to talk, but was silenced by the sound of the door opening behind her. Ah, oh, Laura, cried the MD, losing interest in Marta momentarily. Come in. I was just explaining to Martha here. Marta, she injected. I beg your pardon? Marta is my name. Yes, I know. Sit down, Laura. Try to avoid the mess over there. That's our client's folders all over the floor. Yes, I was just explaining to Martha how important it is for our sparks to have sufficient experience in their sector before being sent out to clients. Laura, a slim, pretty blonde in a tight pencil skirt, pulled up a chair and flashed a business-like smile at Marta. She was probably only a few years out of university herself, but she exuded an air of confident professionalism. Imperative, she agreed. Our reputation rests on the excellence of our sparks. Quite, the redhead nodded meaningfully. Good news, though, chirruped Laura. Your tests have been marked and your scores have come through as high in every section. A small flame of excitement flickered in Marta's despondent soul. The tests she had sat half an hour ago had been easy. They involved basic mathematics and a bit of commercial awareness but mainly just common sense. Secretly, Marta had felt pretty good about them. You're the first person since I started working here to score full marks in numerical reasoning, Laura told her, beaming. Marta beamed back, wondering where this left them. Well, that's excellent, Marta, said the MD encouragingly. Marta took it as a positive sign that the woman had finally learned her name. Well done. Have you done any tests like this before? asked Laura. No, but they're quite easy, like problems you get in school, Marta replied. Perhaps they thought she had cheated. Polish school, said the MD with raised eyebrows, looking meaningfully at her subordinate. Oh yes, said Laura, turning back to Marta. When did you come over to England? Here we go, thought Marta another inquisition about how little experience she had in UK marketing. Two months ago. Laura nodded. Okay, she said, glancing sideways at her boss. And you haven't worked here in any other capacity, have you? Any shop work? Any au pairing? Marta sighed. No. She couldn't keep the resentment out of her voice. Because you see, the thing is, Marta, you can't really expect to leap straight into a career over here with no demonstrable capabilities. I have them, said Marta defensively. Just not in this country. Hmm, yes, said Laura, looking again at her boss. 
Relevant experience is very important, and I'm afraid to say, I don't think your placements in Poland will carry much weight with potential employers here. Then how do I get the relevant experience? asked Marta, plain angry now. She didn't care about working for Bright Sparks anymore. She just wanted to prove her point. Well, that's the difficulty, I agree. Laura looked a little flustered. I cannot get experience anywhere because I do not have experience, Marta went on. It's crazy. I just want experience. Not lots of money or anything like this. Just some time in good English company. But nobody give me that chance. The woman leaned forward across her desk and looked Marta in the eye. She paused for a second, then spoke slowly. I hear what you're saying, Marta. It's not easy for people like you. She pursed her lips, still looking right at her. Now, we have over a hundred clients on our books, nearly half of them marketing firms or others that would suit your skill set. Marta nodded, waiting for the but. But we operate on a need-to-hire basis here, which means that we can only assign sparks to projects as and when the requests come in from clients. It sometimes takes months to find work, even for our best sparks, and that might only be a fortnight's placement. Our clients are highly selective and very demanding. The woman paused, smiling at Laura, who nodded subserviently. You have an added disadvantage, the woman went on, in that you've never really worked over here. We have over 500 sparks on our books, and we assign projects on the basis of track record. Let me advise you, Marta. Sign up to a number of agencies, not just Bright Sparks, and badger them. Be persistent. Marta nodded again, wondering where badgers came into the plan. This was surely the most irritating woman she had ever met. Something will come up, I'm sure. You're a smart girl, Marta, as your test results show. We have your details on file. We'll call you if anything suitable comes up.